Hello everyone! Let's play a game! What am I testing today? Have you already read the title? This is a horrible game. And now that I think about it, it's a really horrible game because there are multiple things missing from my face. One being lipstick. I'm not testing out a lipstick because I'm about to go to the dentist. And then I'm also missing mascara and eyeliner, but the real thing that I'm testing today. Yay! Finally! I know, I've been meaning to test this. I've had this for how many months now? I got this in a Sephora play box, um, probably two, three... Many months ago, I got this. I'm excited! I hear so many wonderful, wonderful things about this eyeliner from Kat Von D. It's supposed to be like the best thing ever created, and I just haven't gotten around to purchasing it because I have one from Physicians Formula that I really love, and I just haven't felt the need to go buy this, I guess, but that's okay. Good things come in due time, I suppose. And uh, now I have this, got the shade Trooper, and I'm really excited to test it with you guys. Let's hop on over to Sephora, Kat Von D's web- I'll hop on to some website and we will read about this product, make sure there's no like special application method that I'm screwing up, and then we'll get on into testing this. So, here we go. So like I said, this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It is $19 and you get 0.02 ounces of product. They only have two colors here, so you've got Trooper, which is the black, and then you've also got Mad Max Brown, which is a rich chocolate brown, but I did get the black in my box. And this is the one that everyone seems to talk about. What it is, it's a liquid eyeliner with an innovative brush tip for effortless, precise application. It's supposed to give you eye perfection with a high pigment, waterproof formula that stays put all day for a fade, melt, crack, and run resistant finish. It's got a super fine and flexible brush tip to glide across the lash line and just give you a wonderful, wonderful application and multiple ways of use. And unlike felt tip liners, this brush tip will not fray. It also seems to be vegan, which is awesome. It looks like typical eyeliner application here, and then once you've been using it for a while, you're supposed to wipe the brush tip with a damp tissue before applying to prevent powder buildup. That makes sense, since you're putting it on over eyeshadow a lot of the time. So with all of the hype that this gets on YouTube, I know that I technically didn't buy it, but I did buy my Sephora Play Box. So like, I'm counting this as a YouTube made me buy it, so let's go ahead and sing the song together and we can get on into testing this. YouTube made me buy it, and now I'm gonna try it. Get you zoomed in here. Yeah, there you go. It's got all of Kat Von D's loveliness on there. Shake it up, it seems to have a little clicky mechanism, which is awesome for liquid liner. Get it all shook up. You got me all shook up. Ooh. And there is the felt tip. I have yet to even swatch this, so I'm very excited. Whew. Okay, it doesn't look the blackest. But that is a nice thin line. Liquid liner. I have problems talking and doing this, but I'm trying to get better. So let's see how this does. So far, so good. I don't know. What am I supposed to say when applying liquid liner? It's easy with the very thin tip to get into the corner of your eye. It is black, like I said, it doesn't look like the blackest. Like, I feel like my Physician's Formula 1 is even blacker than this, and my Physician's Formula 1 is not super black. There you go, the wing was super easy because the tip is so fine. And voila! I think that looks alright, right? It's not my best work, but... <laughs> So I do definitely like that this is a buildable formula, you know, some liquid liners, it's like when you try to go back on top of it, it just kind of like crumbles and gets all nasty. So I do appreciate that, especially since this isn't the blackest formula, but with it built up, I think it definitely is pretty darn black. I'm just going to go ahead and put on my current cocktail of mascaras and I will be talking with you in just a second here. And 
there we go with the mascara on yay so that just kind of completes the look and yeah i'm gonna zoom out this is a little awkward <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna get on with my day here like i said i am going to the dentist and then i think i'm just coming home filming another video doing some editing uploading a video and life so exciting but as always i'm excited to take you guys along with me it is currently 12 11 in the afternoon we will see how does this tattoo liner do does it last does it crumble does it ugh, so many questions i can't even think of them so yeah all right i'm just getting annoying at this point so i'm gonna go and i will speak with you all whenever i feel like i need to check in with you next so i will see you then bye the night here my hair has been through the absolute ringer today my dentist's office's AC was broken <laughs> aka nightmares of all nightmares and horrors for me but you know I lived I have clean teeth now and yeah I'm just ready to take off my makeup and go to bed it is currently just a little bit after quarter after 11 after after in the after evening. <laughs> no, I didn't really vlog here tonight because I was extra boring and was just editing videos literally for the past like four or five hours, so <laughs> that's that. Let's look at this eyeliner, shall we? It hung in there, like no problems. I've got a little bit of wear on the inner corner of my eye, but I think that's purely because I do dab at my eyes quite a bit throughout the day. So final verdict for me, is that, now I hate to be a Debbie Downer here, it's a good eyeliner. Do not get me wrong, but I think that my physician's formula is just as good. My trusty physician's formula works and looks pretty much exactly the same and it's what, like half the price? So I'm probably gonna be sticking with this one. There's nothing wrong with this one. I just think if I can buy it for cheaper, why the heck not? I think that's going to be my review here. As always, I hope it was helpful and or enjoyable for you to see how this liner works throughout the day. If it was, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!